Earlier this week, we told you about a celebration honoring the 40th anniversary of the World's Fair held right here in New Orleans. In this WWL throwback, we're taking a deeper look and a decade old story from WWL Louisiana alum, Bill Capo. You can still see mementos of the 1984 World's Fair, but it's the memories that count. We actually spent every day we could there. Rosalind Green was just 13 when I interviewed her and her mother on the fair's opening day. We've been looking forward to it since November. It's marvelous. It's the best thing that ever happened in New Orleans, I think. The chance to see the world, even at that small a scale, was, was thrilling to me. The fair was a wonderland of rides and exhibits, pavilions from foreign countries, and cuisine ranging from local staples to exotic dishes. The excitement of riding the gondola across the river, I mean, that was death-defying in many ways. Um, the monorail, I mean, we brought things to New Orleans that our city had never seen before. Now, Centennial Plaza is gone. It's a parking lot. Bayou Plaza has been replaced by the Convention Center, and where the Wonder Wall stood is now Convention Center Boulevard. It's bittersweet. It, 30 years ago, uh, I think, when the world came to New Orleans, and uh, it leaves such great memories. 12 million people need to visit this fair between now and November to make this $350 million exhibition break even. Of course, that didn't happen, and the fair ended up in bankruptcy. But 30 years later, the impact of the fair is still being felt, even as we compete for the Super Bowl. So it brought the warehouse district into the 20th century. It made New Orleans more of a national personality than it had been before. It can pull together uh, the resources to put on these major events like Super Bowls. I'm Bill Capo, Eyewitness News.